This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on the Physical Computing Unit, and I'm on the Lesson Getting Properties. Let's see. Get Property and Variables. This program uses the name variable to display the name typed into name input. Right? So name input, there's the ID with name input. And so it uses the name variable to display the name typed into name input. So we say get property, right? Once I click submit, the computer's watching. On the event that the submit button is clicked, it runs all the stuff here. So if I click submit, variable name equals, and what it equals is, hey, computer, go get the property name input value. Get the value of name input and make name and now equal to whatever that was. So whatever I typed in name. Okay. Uh, name submit when the, yep. It should do the same for friend dot underscore input, friend underscore out, and friend underscore output. It's missing a block. Read the code comments, then run the program to see how it works. Make sure to type in your name and your friend's name before hitting submit. Use a git property block to store the text property of friend input into your variable friend name. Ah, so that must be what it's missing. Let's see. Let's test it out first. I'm lame. I'm just putting my last name. Um, submit. Ah, here we are. So what is it missing? It's not doing this down here. How are we making that happen? Well, we must be, that's not getting a property, right? That's setting. So down here, display the welcome message, Kurt and your friend. Welcome label. Okay, let me reset here. What is, oh, I should, what is the welcome label? So it looks like if I hover over here, you can get the IDs. This is the name output somewhere over here. And if I go down, look, look what happens. Friend output and, huh, and welcome. So welcome label must be up here. Right, it's hidden, but what's it gonna say? Well, we're gonna grab the welcome label. We're telling it we wanna change it to text and we wanna be it to be equal to welcome. Then we're gonna grab the and label. We're gonna grab the, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there's an and label in here. We're gonna grab the and label. We're gonna set it to text. And then what are we gonna set it to and? Now, way up here is where we set our name. Name underscore output text is going to be equal to our name variable. So what we don't have is here. If you look at friend underscore name, that's just equal to your friend. We never grab the text here like we do up in name. We say get property name input and we say get the value of that property and make it equal to our variable name. We need to do the same for our friend. We want to get property and what do we want to get? Well, the value of friend input and we want to equal to, ah, we want it. And then whatever that value is, we're going to assign it to our new variable friend underscore name then we say, hey, computer, set the property of friend output, which is somewhere down here, to be equal to text. What's that text? Oh, well, that's what our variable friend name is equal to. Let's give it a shot. Ta-da! We did it! Awesome. Let's keep going.